Okay, guys, today I'm going to show you one of the most classic caricatures that you see everywhere, and that is of Jay Leno. And I think because his face is the easiest, he's got easy features and uh, easy features to exaggerate. But here's what we're going to look at. When you look at Jay Leno's face. The main thing, of course, is his chin, his expression with his eyebrows, and his salt and pepper hair. And that's what we're going to make it really simple and easy to do. And I'm going to show you how I do caricatures. Okay, so let's get the basic shapes. Now, if you're not used to doing this um, with marker, you can always start off with a pencil. And what we're going to do is, let's say this is Draw two circles, two ovals, like so. And put a circle right here. This is kind of kind of give us a basis for where to start. In. Of course, we know with his eyebrows. You see this? If we were to draw a circle around here. And here, this is what we've done. You see his eyebrows are right about here. And of course, we could exaggerate that and put those higher up. But what we're going to start with is get a basic outline of the face. Let's see, this breaks it up here. I'm going to come around really round it. Chin. We could even go longer with his chin. We're going to connect right here. Okay. Look at his ear. We'll put his ear right in this area. We'll come back up. And this up. And if we look at his hair. We know that uh, his hair is black, is right in the center. So, we'll just remember to put that there, somewhere in there. And it basically gives us an idea uh, of the outline of where everything's going to be. And we could really make his hair, doesn't have a huge forehead, but we're going to make it a little bit bigger, just for the sake of the gag. So, we'll make his hair come up. Now you can't see it at the very top. I'm going to lower it in just a minute. Okay, hopefully you can see the outline here. So I've got to come down. This is his hair here. This is his forehead. And this is the break of where his eyebrows would be. I'm going to bring that down here. We could even make this curve in more and really emphasize his cheeks. And round cheek, and we got a really round but long chin. Okay, and his ear is going to be here. All right, and his hairline comes down. And we can see it's right about there. It covers the top part of the, or partial top of the ear. His hair does. Okay, so we're going to have his eyebrows here. And again, this is how I do caricatures. Not everybody does it the same exact way, but this is what I find um, when I'm doing caricatures, how I start out. Of course, um, when I'm doing caricatures for a party, I have to see all of this in my mind and only use a marker. So, it's, it, you know, the more you do it, the better you'll become where you don't even have to do any of this. But I recommend starting off with a pencil first so you can get used to plotting in your features and knowing where to stretch your features and and what you're really looking at and what you really want to do with it. So, and this is going to be a, a safe caricature. We could actually exaggerate it even more. We probably will in the next tutorial. Okay, so let's say, let's take this expression here. I like this one better. We're going to take that. 
instead of this one here. But we're going to use that little squint, his cheeks. You see how small his mouth is, and I smile. We're actually going to use this smile here. All right. Okay, so for his eyebrows, let's say his eyebrows, they're going to be, and we can just shape it then. We'll go down right there, and let's make it right there. And notice how they're going up. I'm going to exaggerate that even more. Okay, now Jay doesn't have the biggest eyes, but he does have really blue eyes. And what we're going to do is, you see the distance between how close his, his eyes are to his eyebrow? And then when he has his famous expression, or his iconic expression, you notice the distance between his eyebrow and his eyes? We're going to replicate this here. And we're actually going to make his eyes just a tad bit smaller. Because remember, we're not doing portraits, we're doing caricatures. So we're going to have fun with this. So what I'm going to do is going to put his eye. So we're going to, for right now, we'll put a placeholder for his eye. Let's see, right about there. Okay, his nose, round nose. We're not going to make his nose as big as it actually is. We're going to make it, we want to just... Make it as round as possible. And of course, what we're going to do is we're going to copy. See that right there? We're going to do that right here. Okay. All right. So, and you'll see how it all comes together. Of course, the patch is going to be right in there. We're just getting everything where we want everything to be. We're going to put his mouth. Yeah, sort of a crazy mouth, small mouth. It's right up under, no, under his nose. You can see the distance between here and, this, and, the, and the bottom of his nose is not that long. Okay, so that's what we want right there. We're going to put his bottom lip here. So bring it down some. And let's bring his chin. So if we make it too long, it, it might be hard for some to recognize who it is. So his eyes. Now do the upper eyelid. Some right there. Emphasize his cheek. And instead of looking where we have it now with the placeholder eyes, he's kind of looking off. But we want him to be looking right at us. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our placeholder out with the medium eraser. Go ahead and put in his eyes. Nose, going to emphasize the ball of his nose, make his nostril in. Okay. 
That's thick. This here is, is where his cheek ends and his chin begins. Okay, you guys. Now his hair comes down just a little bit. So. And hopefully you can see it coming together. So again, what we what do we do? We start off with uh, sort of like a circle oval right here, a little, bit, a little bit bigger oval here, and then chin. We just did a, a circle, and then we just connected it all together. Um, when you're putting in your your eyes, if you think of basic um, proportions of the face, if you just say this is the top, this is the bottom, his eyes would always be closer to the middle. Not exactly, but it's close enough to where we can just say the eyes are going to be in this general area. Okay, so now we're going to put it all together and we can actually make his, chin, his cheek just a little bit more connect, a little bit further down. I think if we we connect it up here, it kind of makes them look too much like a baby. We want to bring it, bring it down just a little bit. Okay, we're going to emphasize where that, where his hair turns flat. And we could do do a lot more. We can actually take, we could put his, uh, put his neck over here. Put this suit and tie on. Okay, and we could do something with that later. Alright, so now what we're going to do is ink it. That's the basic idea of a caricature of Jay Leno.